part of the role of being an expert, uh, you know, so any specialist or any physician really is an expert in their prospective field, is to take complicated medical information and parse it down in a way that uh, patients can understand, uh, and then to help them with uh, the ability to approach it through shared decision making. Yeah, so when we think about the immunotherapy options that are going to be available for food allergy in the near future, uh, we have the oral immunotherapy, ARO 101, which uh, shows very promising results uh, and the ability to increase the threshold dose uh, that would cause a reaction among children who have peanut allergy. Uh, when we think about the implementation of this, I really think that it needs to be thought through on multiple levels, including what this looks like in the practice setting. Uh, we're going to have to have allergists trained in uh, what the product does and does not do, uh, the regimen involved, including the initial dose escalation and then increasing the doses every two weeks and then reaching the therapeutic dose, what type of follow-up is involved. Uh, this is really going to entail uh, lots of support staff because there are going to be questions along the way. Uh, we know that there are side effects that are quite common and thankfully most of them are mild but you know, children can't have anaphylaxis while receiving this product even when they're on therapeutic dosing. So staffs need to be ready to go and answer the calls that come in and, and you know be able to answer them and adjust doses as necessary and provide that support to families. Um, and then lastly, I think it's really going to come down to do allergists have the ability to approach this through a medical shared decision-making model where they can walk through the different options that are available to families, including the option of doing nothing? Uh, ongoing avoidance is a perfectly suitable option for a lot of families, especially if they haven't had a reaction for quite some time. They don't have significant restrictions. They don't have significant restrictions on their um, social encounters or going to school or things like that. Uh, but then if they do want to approach AR101 or oral immunotherapy, it's understanding what does the regimen entail? What are the potential side effects? What are the potential benefits? And then what are the goals of therapy? This is not a cure for peanut allergy. And I think it's really important that families understand that this is a desensitization procedure where they need to continue to be exposed to a therapeutic dose every day. But this will offer protection from small or trace amounts causing severe allergic reactions.